Fighters say the blaze was caused by a cigarette tossed into a wastebasket. A former West Palm Beach police officer has won a big case. William McCray sued the police department and the city for racial discrimination. Today, an all-white jury awarded him a small fortune. CBS 12's Al Pethley is here with this story all new at 11 tonight. Al? Liz, it took the jury about seven hours to decide this case, and they determined that William McCray had been discriminated against because of the color of his skin. The jury ordered the city to pay McRae $230,000. That's more than the $150,000 that McRae and his lawyers had asked for. McRae was hired by West Palm Beach Police in 1992 and was fired in 2001 for alleged perjury in an internal affairs investigation. He sued for discrimination, saying the police department treated black officers who were accused of violating policy more harshly than white officers. This is huge. It's not just about me. It's the other officers, many who supported me, people in the community who supported me. Uh, I'm ecstatic. My name's been cleared. Hopefully what this will mean is that when, when any employer, not just the city of West Palm Beach Police Department, when any employer decides to discipline employees, that they do so carefully and equitably. McCray is now a deputy with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. The city of West Palm Beach could still appeal today's verdict, but McCray hopes they'll decide the case has gone on long enough now and pay him the 230000 Besides the money, he also says he'd like to get his job back at the West Palm Beach Police Department, and he hopes he'll be reinstated before long. Kurt? Now, Pepley, thanks. A teen face. The jury looked at the city and said, you're guilty of discrimination and retaliation. New information tonight on a monumental decision by an all-white jury for a former African-American West Palm Beach cop. William McRae telling me the city needs to shape up. Tonight, he's walking with a new sense of pride and with the promise of $230,000 in damages. He doesn't want medals and he doesn't want publicity. For William McRae, he just wants his job back. Another chance to wear the badge of a West Palm Beach police officer. This wasn't about money. This was about clearing my name. After nine years complete with a failed marriage, a failed mortgage, and a hard-fought lawsuit, vindication came. A jury awarded McRae over a quarter million dollars, concluding the city and the force at the time, nearly a decade ago, cut him down and left him high and dry because of his color. Frankly, this is one of the most outrageous cases of disparate discipline that I've ever seen in 25 years of practicing law. It certainly brought two weeks of strong testimony, including Sheriff Rick Bradshaw, who headed the police department at the time. Years of discrimination and race retaliation, that's what McRae says he endured. And now with the victory in the eyes of the law, he's carrying a different weapon, a smile for the first time in a long time that can be seen across the city. The city needs to look in the mirror, the man in the mirror, and accept responsibility for their actions. City spokesperson Peter Robbins releasing this statement tonight, quote, the city is grateful for the jury's hard work, but it is convinced that the verdict was not based on the evidence presented. We will be filing the appropriate post-verdict motion to protect the city's interest. That motion will likely be filed next week at a hearing, which basically asks the judge to overturn the verdict. McRae has been a PBSO deputy for six years. Assuming this verdict today stands, he hopes to work things out with the city and return to the West Palm Beach Police Department. Well, they say he is responsible for killing a beloved member of a local high school.